What is going on guys, DBG here and in this video we have got a best 75k MT squad in NBA 2K18 my team. So this squad in my opinion is really really good on 75k. Well I'm not going to call it a god squad, like this squad has got 4 diamonds and almost all amethyst for the rest of the team. It's a really really good squad and again 75k. This squad was 65k when I purchased it. I bought most of these players the day Kobe came out, which was Friday. I looked at these cards again today, Saturday, when I'm recording this, even though this video is going to be out Sunday, so the prices may vary a little bit, but eventually this squad will be back down well below 75k. If they release another Kobe-like card, this squad could drop to 50k in a couple of weeks. So anyway, now let's go on to the squad. At the point guard position, we've got a Ruby, and it's John Wall. Regardless of rating, John Wall's Ruby card is still one of the best point guards in the game. He's averaging, oh Jesus, on Xbox he's only averaging 3.5 points per game for me, but he is shooting 66% from the field. But on PS4, he's like my main man, he's averaging like 20 a game. Three all fame badges including Dimer and Gold Posterizer. This card can shoot mids, he can shoot threes, he's got a nice release, great ball control, unreal passing stats, a great defensive card, great steal. There's nothing this card can't do, and for like 1k MT, you can't go wrong with, with him. He's better than nearly every Amethyst point guard in this game, in my opinion, and a great, great card. At the two, we have got, in my opinion, one of the best two guards in the game, it's Michael Red. I really like his release. Some people don't like it, I think it's cash. Michael Red, 90 defense, 97 offense overall, comes with four Hall of Fame badges, catch and shoot, limitless range, deep range, dead eye, and corner specialist. 6 6 2 guard. With a great shot made, great shot three. He can speed boost, he's got glitchy drill moves in my opinion. Also, not a bad dunker with 85 driving dunk, 80 tendency, good speed, speed ball acceleration, and a great, great card. The three we have got, Gordon Hayward. 89 defense, 97 offense overall. He comes with five Hall of Fame badges, relentless finisher, acrobat, catch and shoot, difficult shots, mid range, dead eye, and comes with goal limitless range as well, and 12 other goal badges. He's got 94 on shot made, 93 on shot three, 86 ball control, so speed boost. He's got decent defensive stats, well quite good defensive stats, 6'8", small forward. He's got a 75 driving nugget with 85 10, so not bad at all. Decent speed, speed ball and acceleration, and just looks to be solid. Like, he's 10k MT right now, so he's nowhere near expensive. Gordon Hayward is a good release, and it's quite a good card. At the 4, we have got a center, and it is Hakeem Olajuwon. And at the 5, we have got Ralph Sampson. Samson and Elijah Wan duo is like 25k and both of these cards go up to 95 overall diamonds. Hakeem basically becomes a slower version of his diamond without his 98 overall without the um, Hall of Fame badges. He's got three Hall of Fame badges, 14 gold, but um, this Hakeem Elijah Wan, 94 open shot made, 83 open shot three. His three pointer feels the same as the 98 overall. He just doesn't miss when he's open. He's got great rebounding stats, Lower quickness is decent, he's got a good block, not a great steal. His speed is 70, which is a lot slower than 98 overall, but this is definitely a great alternative. Ralph Sampson, on the other hand, is a 7 foot 4 center, 99-97. He's got an open shot 3 of 88, open shot uh, made of 92, but his release is quite on the slow side. 99 dollars rebounding, 99 block, 92 on ball defense by Q, lateral quickness of 79 for 7 4, player is insane. And yeah, a really nice card. Off the bench at the one, we have got Mike Conley. And at the five, we have got Greg Oden. So Mike Conley is about 6k MT. Greg Oden is about 9k MT. So for 15k, you can get two diamonds. Mike Conley is really nice. He's got 98 defense, 99 offense overall. He's got no percent made 95, almost 3, 97 with the duo. 96 ball control as well. Great passing stats. He's a great defensive card as well. And also has got unreal speed to be a ball and a really nice release. He's 6-1, which is his only flaw. But he's got Hall of Fame pick dodger, defensive stopper, pick and roll maestro, and teardropper. And as well as 15 gold badges. He doesn't have limitless range, which is not ideal for a 6-1 player. But still not a bad card at all. And then we've got Greg Oden. The one thing that stops Greg Oden being a top 2 or 3 center, or top 5 center in his game. Is the fact that he has got a 5 standing dunk tendency. One of the guys in real life who's known for standing dunks has a 5 standing dunk tendency, which just doesn't make sense. But he's got 95 post and fadeaway. He's got an open shot made 90, open shot 3 of 75. His release is cash. From the corners, he hits so many threes. And his mid-range shot is money. He's got an 85 free throw as well. 
unreal rebounder, one of the best defensive cards in the game, as well as the fact that he's got really nice driving dunk and 82 speed, 78 acceleration, and 60 speed of ball is actually really good for a center. And for some reason, he just plays unreal for me. Like He plays better than every center I've used this year, except for Hakeem and Kareem. He's one of my favorite centers in the game. At the two off the bench, regardless of what this guy costs, he's like 800 MT. Um, it doesn't matter, this card belongs in every budget squad, probably belongs in every squad at the end of the bench, J.R. Smith. 96 open shot, 3, 96 dunk with a 100 tendency, as well as Hall of Fame and limitless range, catch and shoot and deep range dead eye. I don't think there's much more I have to say. At the 3 is another card that belongs in every squad, Jonathan Isaac. Jonathan Isaac is a 6 foot 11 small forward, one of the best defensive cards in the game, and can shoot, dunk and speed boost and is glitchy. This card is a demigod. The cheap pink diamond Yanis, who's not actually that much worse than Yanis, hilariously enough. And at the four, we've got a seriously underrated card. Seriously underrated, Cliff Robinson. Like, he's got six Hall of Fame badges, so he's one of the best defense cards in the game. Catch and shoot's a really good badge. He's 6'10 power forward, so he's tall enough. He's got a 94 on shot mid, he's got a 91 on shot three, with a really nice release. If he could speed boost, I think speed boosting is the one thing this card doesn't do. He's got good enough passing stats, decent rebounding stats, unbelievable defense stats, perimeter and post. He's got a steal of 90 and a block of 92 as well. He's got an unreal dunk with 95 tendencies, good speed and acceleration, okay speed of ball for power forward, and this guy is like 9k MT. Last three off the bench, we are just going to use guys that can come in in different situations. First of all, we have got uh, Bojan Bogdanovic, who in case Isaac is struggling shooting-wise, can come in and shoot the ball. We have also got... In case we're struggling with Greg Oden not hitting shots and we need a center that can come in and shoot the ball, we are going to put in who else but Emerald Dragon Bender. And last up, we've got a two guard that is going to just lock people down, and it's Sydney Moncrief, who right now is 7.5k MT. Moncrief is 7.5k. Like, that's crazy. But anyway, yeah, this is the team. This is the best team, for, in my opinion, for 75k. Now let's get on to the game. We are playing against. Uh, Booker and the rest of these guys are rubies and amethysts. Bad. Good job, John Wall. Two red. Three. Green light. Michael Red. There we go. In the corner for three. Hall of Fame Diner pass. And Hayward knocks it down. Tie game. Victor Shooter in the corner for three. Bad release. And we knock it down. Hit 17 each. Let's go. For three. And Cliff Robinson knocks it down. We've got a three-point lead. Corner for three, Greg Oden. And Oden ties the game. And Greg Oden is a serious three-point shooter. He's got five and five already. I use the game, I'm very confident I'm going to win. It's just by how much I'm going to win by. And Greg Oden knocks down another three. We're eight of 11 from three. They're eight of 13. The defense, Cliff Robinson, they don't even get a shot off. All right, three point lead at halftime. We put 37 points in a half, which is really good. The problem is we conceded 34, which is really bad. Bender is being guarded by Amethyst Shaq right now. And Bender burns him, goes to the basket, and he draws another foul and one for Bender. Let's go. He is killing him. He's killing him. He's already come, chipped in with five points, and he's been on the floor like less than a minute. Two offenses. Let's go, Bender's out running. Drives in, and he finishes easily past Jeremy Lin on the break. Oh, he's burned them to the basket, and Bender has now got nine. They can't defend him. They cannot deal with him. We're shooting nearly 30% better than him from the field, and this is a six-point game. It's a three-point game. Get, get to the corner for three, Gordon Hayward, and Hayward knocks it down. They finally help it on Bender, and he kicks to Hayward. And Bender gets a steal. And Bender misses, but gets a rebound, fakes up. And he puts it in. That's 11 now for Bender. There we go. Stack. Burn him to the basket. And Cliff Robinson jams in on him. Corner three. And Cliff Robinson knocks it down. Oh my god. Three. And Conley hits it. Defense to Red, from deep, and Red knocks it down, making it a 20 point game. Hayward, the basket, and Hayward with the dunk. 
So in the end, no one scored too much. Hayward at 13, J.R. Smith 11, Cliff Robinson was unbelievable with 11 points. Dragon Bender was unbelievable in four minutes, had 11 points, four rebounds, an assist, and a steal. Greg Oden at eight, Wall at six, Red at six, Connolly had five, Olajuwon at four, Samson at four, Isaac at two, and Bogdanovich and Moncrief did not score. So anyway, that's the video. In my opinion, it's the best team you can get for 75k. And hilariously enough, Dragon Bender may be the best player in this squad. But um, Cliff Robinson is insane. This duo is unreal. Isaac's unbelievable. J.R. Smith's unbelievable. Hayward's nice. Red is great. Wall's great. This duo is great as well. Like, this squad is unbelievable in 75 KMT. So anyway, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.